A bearing is a three digit number measured clockwise from a north line. So bearings have a lot to do with compass directions. North has a bearing of zero 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 degrees. Uh, remember it has to be a three digit number, hence we've got the three zeros here. Right, if we go clockwise around 90 degrees, we get east. East will be a bearing of zero 90 degrees. Again, if we turn the furthest 90 degrees, we get south, which is 180 degrees. And going around a further 90 degrees, we get west, which is 270 degrees. And then if we turn a further 90, we're back at north, which is 000, zero, zero degrees. So let's take a look at a couple of examples of measuring bearings. So in example one, we need to measure the bearing of A from B. Right, first of all then, connect the two points which you have. The next thing you need to do is put the north line in at the correct place. So what the question says is it says measure the bearing of A from B. So we've got to measure it from point B. So this is where our north line goes. So at B do a north line. And marking the angle which we're going to measure, so remember we start on north and go around clockwise. So if you get your protractor, uh, put zero on the north line and we've just got to measure it around clockwise which gives us an angle of 72 degrees but remember it has to be a three digit number so we need to put 0, 72 and that's our bearing of A from B let's have a look at a harder example so in this one here we need to measure the bearing of X from Y so it's telling us to measure the bearing from Y that's where we need to put our north line. So join up X and Y. Put our north line in at Y because we need to measure the bearing from Y. Again marking the angle which we're going to measure. So if we start on the north line and go clockwise so this is the angle we need to find. So we can see this is a reflex angle. It's going to be more than 180 degrees. So if you get your protractor. So all the way around to here is 180 degrees, but we've got a little bit extra to measure. So if we turn our protractor around. So we have to measure an extra 49 degrees. So it's 180 plus 49. So if we add these two up, that gives us 229 degrees. Alternatively, you could have measured this angle here and then subtract that from 360 degrees.